Texas. Welcome to another Two Minute PD. Up next, using ThingLink for pre-teaching. ThingLink for pre-teaching is a great way to help students understand upcoming material before you teach it. ThingLink is a free online tool that allows folks to hyperlink information to an uploaded image. Before you start, identify the big ideas and key concepts of the new unit. Then plan a visual plane for these concepts. This serves as the image you'll upload to the ThingLink website, and this is where your hyperlinks will live. I like using Keynote to design a slide with relevant visuals. If you're not already a ThingLink user, sign up for a free account and upload the image you designed. Now that your image is in place, add nubbins that reveal information using text or consider linking relevant websites, videos, or other web-based resources. Keep in mind the device students will use to access your ThingLink and choose hyperlinks that play nicely with those devices. Here, I included a URL I generated in desmos.com so students can explore how adjusting the slope and y-intercept of a linear inequality impacts the graph. After you've added hyperlinks, save your creation in ThingLink. Use the embed code to share the ThingLink on your website of choice. I copied the code and pasted it onto my teacher website for students to easily access. After students explore, I like to go around the room and ask each of them to share one thing they learned from the ThingLink. The challenge is for every student's response to be unique. It's a great way to foster communication before I've said a word about the content. As the unit progresses, students may find additional resources to add to the ThingLink. Consider adding new nubbins yourself or change the sharing settings of the image so students can edit it. Better yet, have students create their own ThingLinks. What begins as pre-teaching ends as a plane for collaboration and an interactive study guide. Now that's an edgy win. Try ThingLink.